Hey guys, um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I just thought I would show you my pot score. I was actually influenced by uh, Jenna at the uh, Pink Trellis to go to Marshall's. Um, I asked the gal today, I'd never been in there before, and they opened in 19... 1919 so it's been a while and it's right next to the grocery shore, store where I shop but <coughs> excuse me I uh, I usually have so many stops to make I don't do extra and I hate shopping but when I saw the lovely pots that she got I had to check it out and first of all let me move these out of the way a little bit um, I bought these <coughs> excuse me I bought two of the same size, and they're pretty good sized. I can't span the top with my hand. They're, I think they're probably 10 inches. And they were $12.99. And then I bought, <clears throat> excuse me, a smaller one that same, well, shoot, I didn't plan this very good. Same pattern, just a smaller size, and it was $9.99. I don't if I can get in there yeah so um, I already have in mind plants to put in them I'm not going to do that on this video but I'm sure down the road you will see them if I keep doing videos I don't know and then I bought this one it's kind of a splurge it was $16 and um, but it's big I mean look at it compared to my hand it's it's really quite big and Again, it's wide. <laughs> it looks like a huge chamber pot, but it's super heavy, and it was sixteen ninety nine. So that was Marshall's, and I. It's funny. I had just gotten a notice uh, from a credit card that I had uh, reward money on it, and. They said, we're going to close your card. You haven't used it in two years, blah, blah, blah. So if you don't want to lose your, and it was, it was almost $20 in rewards, if you don't want to lose your rewards. So all in all, it was 50 something dollars, but I had $20, almost $20 in rewards money. So that was kind of a deal to me. I thought that was a good way. I can't buy any more plants. I've got enough. And so... Now I'm going to kind of uh, dedicate my plant money to buying pretty pots. Then I went to another grocery store, and it's called Grocery Outlet. It's a, it's, I don't know if they're all over or not. It's in Ontario, Oregon, where I do my shopping. And I don't know exactly how big these are. I should have measured, but it, it's the span of my hand. It's pretty deep. Um, it's got a nice flat bottom with attached saucer, and I got two of them. They're they're just exactly the same, and they were nine nine ninety nine a piece, and they're really heavy. They're nice, nice pots. They're glazed on the inside, but I think no, they're not. They're not glazed down low, just around the rim. I think, I don't think I'm going to plant in any of these pots. This one doesn't even have a drainage hole in it, which is great. Um, I think I'm going to put, use them more as cover pots. Because I really don't want to be lifting all that extra, extra weight. But I'm kind of hoping it'll slow the cat down, a little turd, from uh, pulling my pots over. Okay, so then I went to what they call the Idaho Youth Ranch here and I picked up these bowls and as you can see compared to my hand they're pretty good sized I, I, I don't know they're soup bowls but I don't know anybody that could eat that much soup um, they're too big for cereal bowls but I anyway they're really pretty I like the blue I kind of have a lot of blue in my kitchen and um, kind of trying to color coordinate things. I don't know. I'm just being stupid, I guess. Um, so I got two of those. And I think, let's see. I think they were a dollar, well, they were a dollar eighty nine each, which was 
there. <laughs> it's kind of spendy, but you know what? They're really pretty too, and, and those will definitely be cover pots because there's no hole in the bottom. Unless I drill one, and I suppose I could do that. They're glazed on the inside, so it would be easy to get plants in and out, and they're they're relatively straight sided. I mean they, they taper in at the bottom, but and I also picked this up for my propagation station, my big parrot cage that because I have a uh, I don't know, three or four other blue glass containers. And then this is the other pot, like the other blue one that I showed you. They match. And um, I don't know. I'm going to use them in the kitchen somewhere. And then I went to Walmart. <clears throat> I went to Home Depot. And, oh, they think a lot of their pots. Boy, they were expensive. $29, $30 for a pot like this size that really wasn't all that pretty. Um, so these were at Walmart. They're really plain. They're simple. They do have holes in the bottom, but again, I'm going to use them for cover pots. Um, I don't know. They just, they're, like I said, they're simple. They've got leaves, you know, all the way kind of on one side, and the, then the back side is just plain. It's kind of nowhere where you can get it totally away from the leaves. And I actually, they were four ninety eight, I think. I don't know. They don't have, they didn't have tags. It was on the shelf. So say $5 and I got four of them. So for $20, I have, uh, whoops, four more pots. And, um, where am I, what am I doing? Putting my finger over the lens. So, and I, I'm saying, I'm, I think they're about six inch pots. So um, that's my haul. I was really happy. I can't wait to fiddle around and get plants situated in it. For now, I, I have, I, I'm going to put, I think, my plan is to put the Black Cardinal in one and my Macaulay's Finale in the other. But the pots that they're in right now are smaller and I don't want to up pot them to a pot that big so I will set something upside down in the bottom to hold these pots up put them up on the shelf and there's the uh, black cardinal it both plants really all um, so many of my plants really took a hit with the thrips episode but I think we're I think we're on the healing end now I hope oh I don't want to go there I also stopped it Andrew Seed, Garden Answers, uh, Laura, her folks own Andrew Seed, and I bought some sulfur just to be on proactive or whatever. I don't know if that's the right word. I'm going to spray all my Hoyas for those flat mites that everybody's talking about. I don't know that I have them. But it isn't that big of a deal. There are all but two or four Hoyas are in my um, master bath. And I have rails in the shower in there with lots of hooks on them. All of the Hoyas are in, most of them anyway, are hanging. And the ones that aren't hanging are in planters or they're in trough planters in cups. So they will be easy to just take to the shower, spray down. I think you have to do it two or three times, too. I don't remember. I'll have to read the directions. Go back and watch Not Dude's uh, video on how they treated that. Or maybe Elena's plants. Um, I don't know. She's a pretty little gal that has some lovely Hoyas. And I guess these little red flat mites that you really can't see, you need a microscope to see them. Um, there's three types of plants they affect, and Hoyas are one of them. I don't remember what the other two were because I don't have those plants. So it, it went out of my head. I don't have room for very much left in my brain. So anyway, that's it. I thank you for watching. I hope I didn't bore you just buying pots. But my goal now is to upgrade my plant collection, appearance of it anyway, with pretty pots. And um, I, I don't know. I only have Home Depot. Uh, well, and that's kind of out now unless they get new pots in for spring and 
bring their prices down. Um, Home Depot, Walmart, now Marshalls. And I was really surprised to see these at that grocery outlet. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye now. Okay, I just wanted to show you real quick how I utilize the pots. Um, here's the, the pretty blue one that does not have a drainage hole in it, and I used it to, it's heavy, so I used it to hold up my Raffidophora, I think it's a hay eye, whatever. Anyway, it's a climbing, shingling plant, and uh, now I need to go into the other room. Be right back. Oh, ugh, there's going to be backlighting here. Here's where I put the blue pots. There's the pot, and then there, the second one is right there. And the, the two cover pots bowls are behind it. And so they're on this shelf. So this is a blue, a blue shelf, and uh, blue and white. And then this shelf, what did I put here? Nothing. <laughs> Okay, losing my mind. Um, all right, my other, my turquoise pots are right here. The two big ones with the plants in them. I did not plant the pots in the, or the plants in them yet because the pots are too big for the plants now, but they will work perfectly later on. Probably have to move them down. I don't know, I'll have to rearrange that shelf later on because they're, they're going to outgrow their height in sunlight, although they do get some extra light from those LEDs up there. And and those are 6,500K LED. I don't remember how many lumens. And then I lined up my little green pots, or my white pots with the green leaves on them uh, across the front of this shelf. And I had to repot a couple plants to get them to fit into the pots because they're a little bit narrower than a six inch pot. They have holes in them, but I didn't really want to plant directly into them. I'd rather use them as cover pots. And then the smaller turquoise pot is right down. Whoops! I squatted down and almost fell over. Is right down there on the bottom. And I believe that's a philodendron moonlight that I have in it. I had it in a darker area, and so the new growth isn't as moonlighty as it should be. Apparently I spilled some dirt. <laughs> I think that happens to all of us. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you later. Bye now. Mm -hmm.